Hi, this is Angie from EasyShip. Today I'm going to show you how to configure insurance in the EasyShip app. Once you've mastered configuring insurance, you'll have a peace of mind, especially when shipping to new countries. So let's get right into it. Once you've logged into the EasyShip dashboard, we're going to find our way here to the menu on the left and scroll down to settings. Once you find the settings, we're going to click on this little arrow to expand the menu and then we're going to click on insurance. So typically some couriers offer insurance, but it is very limited in coverage if they have it at all. And it takes a long time for claims to be processed. And in most cases, we find that they don't even get approved. Here at EasyShip, we now give you, the seller, the power to choose. We've revamped our insurance settings and now you have three different options on how to insure your shipments. You can insure your shipments using the selling price of your products. You can choose to always insure the entire shipment for a specific dollar amount. Or if you want to use a percentage of the selling price, not a problem, we can do that as well. You can also choose to include the shipping cost in the coverage or you can just choose to cover the item value only. Please be mindful if you are adjusting these settings after pulling in your order to have this little box checked here so that we can recalculate the price of all the shipments that might be affected by these changes. You won't have to do this for every single shipment. We can set up a couple of rules. So let's move back over here to the menu on the left and go to shipping rules. Let's create a shipping rule for two different scenarios. Let's just say, for example, for all of your shipments to the UK, lost and stolen packages are a big concern of yours and you choose to always insure those packages. Not a problem. Let's create a rule to include insurance for all of your shipments to the UK. So we're going to name this UK insurance. You can choose to name this whatever you'd like. Then we'll choose the condition. So we're going to say our destination country is the United Kingdom. Then we're going to save our condition and then choose the action, which will be insurance and then always apply. We're going to save the action. Once again, be mindful to check this box off if you are creating this rule after pulling your orders into the platform and then hit create. Now, every time you pull in an order from the UK, insurance will always be applied. Or on the other hand, let's just say you always want to include insurance, no matter what the destination country might be, we can do that as well. So we're going to add a new rule here. We can just call this one insurance and we can create a condition for all shipments, save, choose the action, insurance once again, and always include, save the action and then create. You can create the insurance rule and how it applies to you. Now that I have demonstrated how to configure insurance, you have the tools you need to do this in your account. If anything wasn't clear or you experienced something different to what you just saw when you attempt this yourself, our customer service team will be happy to assist you. We also have other instruction videos on our YouTube channel and in our help center. I recommend you check those out as well. Thanks for watching and happy shipping.